The Boston College Eagles went 6-6 six and six last year under Jeff Halfley, and everybody loves Halfley, by the way. Have, have y'all noticed that? I mean, everybody just loves him. Uh, media is all over him. Uh, college administrators love him, you know, et cetera. Only went 6-6, six and six, but regardless, postgame win expectancy last year was 6.37 and 5.63. Um, they were 5-7 and seven, uh, as far as their projected SP Plus for this coming season. It, you're number 93 in returning production, so that's not good. 57%. Uh, the offense brings back the least. Number 114 in that metric, only 46% coming back. But the roster strength is still pretty good, especially on offense. So we'll see what that means. Uh, offensive PPA per drive was number 89 last year, but a lot of that had to do with the fact that uh, Phil Djokovic was out for, you know, multiple games last year, multiple times. Uh, the defense was pretty good, number 40 in PPA per drive. Let's start off with the offense, though. A new offensive coordinator, John McNulty, he was the Notre Dame t uh, tight end coach, the former Rutgers offense coordinator. He's going to bring some RPO changes to the offense. I'm curious how much. It just depends on on him and Halfley and what they want to do to base it around the personnel that they've actually got. They do have uh, Zay Flowers back. They do have Phil back at quarterback. Um, I mean, he missed six games due to an injury last season, and that just tanked. Uh, Grossell was the, the quarterback, and they were – Oh, putrid on offense with him at quarterback. Uh, he will have a stable of wide receivers. Like I said, Flowers is back, along with the running back, Pat Garbo the third. Um, all five offensive linemen are gone. Now, the right guard, uh, Christian Mahogany. Mahogany? Um, I'm not sure how to say it, but he tore his ACL just a few weeks ago. He was a huge NFL draft prospect. Uh, so we'll see what happens. You've only got two returners that have 166-plus snaps on offense, but the talent still looks okay. Like they, I think it's this is going to be interesting to see what they end up doing with McNulty at uh, offense coordinator here. As far as the defense goes, uh, Tim Lubaka or Lubaku is the defense coordinator. We know Halfley has his hands all over this defense. We don't even have to worry with that. Defense kept BC in a lot of games that they had no business being in last year. Uh, the secondary was strong, number twenty nine passing success rate allowed, which is very fitting for Halfley. Uh, they do return four starters on that side. Uh, as far as the defensive uh, secondary goes, uh, linebacker returns Arnold and De Palma, but not much else. Defensive line brings back six with 200 plus snaps. You got to be a little bit better against the run this year. They were number 84 in uh, in defensive rushing success rate allowed. That's not good. This team is projected favorites in five games. Uh, in five of the games on the schedule, they are projected to be within eight points. So you got to keep Phil Djokovic healthy. The passing offense fell apart last year with Grossell. And there are real weapons if he actually has time to throw. That's the biggest thing. Uh, the other question here, can the defense continue their improvement? The majority of the talent's on the offensive side, but the defense has certainly played better thus far in Halfley's tenure. Uh, it, this is a strange contrast. I brought it up at the beginning about how much everybody loves Jeff Halfley. Adazio got to six or seven wins basically every season when he was at BC, and half is loved by the admins with a seven-win season or a six-win season, six-win season, whatever it is. Like, it, they're, the records are very similar. Like, how long does Halfley end up staying in this job? That's what I'm curious about. If he has another pretty good year, they get to seven wins, which is what I've got them projected to get to. Uh, I mean, their win total is six and a half, uh, juiced at plus 100 on the over. I I think they make it to seven. I think they get to seven. And if they do get there... How long does Halfley stick around? Does he take a Big Ten job? Does he take an SEC job? Like, he he was at Ohio State as the D.C. for a long time. I wonder what he ends up doing as far as this arms race is concerned because he's got a lot of love right now from a lot of people. And if he doesn't strike while the iron is hot, you may get stuck somewhere that you don't want to be. So, very curious what he ends up doing. That is not necessarily a key to the season, but just an interesting question mark as we go along. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.